Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to subtract mixed numbers. So right here, we have 5 and 1 half minus 3 and 3 fourths. And like adding mixed numbers, our first step is to convert these two into improper fractions. So we're first going to convert 5 and 1 half into its improper fraction form. And if you haven't already, go watch our video on converting mixed numbers to improper fractions, and I'll link it above. So our first step is to multiply 5 times 2, and that's 10. And then we're going to add the 10 with our numerator, 1. So our new numerator is going to be 11, because 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 plus 1 is 11. And we keep our denominator as is, so we keep our old denominator, so we were going to write a 2. And now we subtract this from, let's convert this into a mixed number, 4 times 3, is 12, 12 plus 3 is 15, so our new numerator is 15, divided by, we keep our old denominator, 4, and now we simply subtract these two, like normal fractions. So this equals 4 times 2 is 8, 11 times 4, 44, minus 15 times 2, 30, 44 minus 30 is 14, so this is 14 over 8, and this can be simplified into 7 over 4. And this is our answer in improper fraction form. This can actually be converted into mixed number form. And if you haven't already, go watch our video on converting improper fractions into mixed numbers. So let's write this right here, 7 over 4. And this equals... Well, what's the most amount of times 4 can go into 7 with it being less than 7? Once, because 4 times 2 is 8, that's going to be over 7. 4 times 1 is 4, that's less than 7, and that's the closest 4 can get with to being 7. So 4 times 1 is 4, that's our new, or that's our whole number, and we keep the denominator as is, and we multiply the 1 times 4 is 4, 7 minus 4 is 3. So our answer in mixed number form is 1 and 3 fourths. And that's our answer. Now, let's do another example. Let's do 4 and 3 fourths minus 2 and 7 eighths. And remember, our first step is to convert these two into improper fractions. So let's convert 4 and 3 fourths first. 4 times 4, that's 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. And we keep our old denominator. Minus 2 times 8 is 16. 16 plus 7 is 23. Over, we keep our old denominator. This equals 4 times 8 is 32. 19 times 8, that's 152, and that's a little tough to do with in your head, so you could use a calculator for that. Minus 23 times 4, that's 92. 152 minus 92, that's 60. And this can be simplified to, well, 30 over 16, which equals... 15 over 8. And this is our answer in improper fraction form. I'll also write the mixed number form. So 15 over 8. Let's convert this into a mixed number. This equals, what's the most amount of times 8 can go into 15? Once, because if it goes twice, that's 16, and that's over 15. So we write our 1 here. We keep our denominator. 8 times 1 is 8. 15 minus 8 is 7. So our answer in mixed number form is 1 and 7 8. 